Notre Dame is getting ready for tomorrow's Pinstripe Bowl. WSBT Sports Director Pete Byrne is at Yankee Stadium tonight. He spoke to Coach Brian Kelly this afternoon. And while fans may be a little less interested in this game than they have been for other bowl games, it is still an important game for the Irish. Greetings, Michiana, once again from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, site of this year's Pinstripe Bowl between Notre Dame and Rutgers. I'm standing right behind home plate in Yankee Stadium next to the iconic New York Yankee interlocking NY, which is somehow fittingly enough not that far removed from the Notre Dame interlocking ND. Those two logos will be on prime display tomorrow when Notre Dame faces Rutgers here in the Pinstripe Bowl. I got to admit, it's a little eerie being here in this baseball stadium, which is now set up for football. As you look around and you see so many images that remind you of sports greatness, from the 27 Yankee World Championships on the facades to the Monument Park, a little more than 100 yards behind me right now, straight outside of center field, where the great Yankees are immortalized, guys like Babe Ruth and Mickey Mantle. This is a stadium that in its brief five years have seen some great sports moments and the host of a franchise that have probably seen more big sports moments than any in American sports history. Notre Dame will face Rutgers tomorrow in the Pinstripe Bowl and Notre Dame coach Brian Kelly would like to have his own big sports moment when they do so. We're competitors, first of all. I mean, so any game that you put in front of us, you know, we want to win the game. And so it, it doesn't matter about the venue. Uh, we love the venue. We love the bowl. We love what's happened for our kids this week. But we're competitive. And so a game, you know, the old phrase, a game worth playing is a game worth winning. A fitting sentiment from Brian Kelly indeed here in the home of the most successful franchise in American pro sports history. Whether or not Notre Dame will be able to do just that, win tomorrow, we will know in just a few short hours. Reporting from the Pinstripe Bowl at Yankee Stadium, I'm Pete Byrne, WSBT Channel 22 Sports. South Bend's Mayor Pete Buttigieg and the Mayor of Piscataway, New Jersey, have a friendly wager going on. If Notre Dame loses, Buttigieg has to send Mayor Brian Waller a basket of chocolates from the South Bend Chocolate Company, and he has to wear a Rutgers sweatshirt. If Notre Dame wins, Waller will send Buttigieg a basket of Italian delicacies, and will have to wear a Notre Dame sweatshirt the Monday after the game. It's a nice fun thing to do and it's a chance to talk about some of the things that make us proud in our different cities. You know, uh, sports has a great way of bringing people together and a little friendly rivalry and competition never hurt anybody. You might remember Mayor Buttigieg lost a similar wager last year and had to send chocolates to the mayor of Tuscaloosa, Alabama after the BCS championship game. Still ahead, a change of heart for the network that suspended one of the stars of Duck Dynasty. We'll tell you what happened on that. And many of us would like to take an early retirement. We're going to introduce you, though, to one man who just celebrated his 100th birthday while he was still on the job. Welcome to the weekend. Here we are. We'll look at a big change that's afoot. And cold air, you better believe cold air is on the way. We'll break it down in your forecast, and that is next. Pinstripe Bowl coverage sponsored by Polak Realty and Papa John's Pizza. When choosing a real estate agent, there are many factors to consider. Polak Realty is the only company with a 4.9% commission rate. We've served brokers, agents, appraisers, lenders, and other real estate professionals since 1984. It doesn't matter who the buying agent is, Polak Realty guarantees 4.9 all the time. We are a BBB and MLS member, which gives you access to all listings from one local company. Whether you're buying or selling, trust Polak Realty. 4.9 all the time. Play of the game, folks. Manning throws. Touched him. Hey, Peyton, what are you doing? Tossing the dough. Just like you said, you want to throw one? For just $11, get Papa John's new Chipotle chicken and bacon pizza. That's right, only $11 for a large. Plus, try our new mega chocolate chip cookie, just $5. Nice, smooth. Peyton? I'm good. Today's high 41, the overnight low 27. We'll look ahead at some seriously mild air. I mean, mild air before a quick cool down. It's all part of your forecast next. The car company's end of year blowout is going on now. All inventory is marked down with payments as low as $69 with no down payment. So you buy now, pay later. No cash out of pocket. Buy now, pay later, and save thousands only at the car company. Goshen and Warsaw. Great cars, great prices. It's Carson's after Christmas sale, now through Tuesday, December 31st. Save up to 60% store-wide, and don't miss over 150 bonus buys through Sunday only. Like ladies' designer coats, 99 dollars 
60% off ladies' boots. Buy one, get two free men's pants. And 55% off our entire stock of Living Quarters cold weather sheet sets. The after Christmas sale, now through Tuesday, December 31st. Shop in store or online. Carson's. The car company's end of year blowout is going on now. All inventory is marked down with payments as low as $69 with no down payment. So you buy now, pay later. No cash out of pocket. Buy now, pay later, and save thousands only at the car company. Goshen and Warsaw. Great cars, great prices. Now, your accurate storm tracker forecast with Chief Meteorologist Paul Amick. How serious is seriously mild? Mm. Well, it's no laughing matter when it gets that mild, as I like to say. Now, actually, temperatures tomorrow, there will be a very interesting range across the area. Middle to upper 40s, yeah, we're going to see that in the area. That's serious but for December. I think so. I think it's serious, too. But some people Almost wouldn't January. rule out, especially some areas could get up around 50. That's not going to be. All if right. somebody is in the 50s, I'm not going to be surprised at all because there will be a real interesting range of temperatures around us. Now, there's no wintry or wet weather yet. And, well, the reason would be the air is very dry. and That dry air plays a role, too and how uh, the uh, temperatures can evolve during the day. Very dry air allows temperatures to kick up just a bit, fairly uh, kind of a sprawling air mass, actually a very sprawled out air mass on top of us, very quiet, very tranquil. Very great weather on the way for tonight and then tomorrow. Enjoy that sunshine, but that dry air will play a role in our warming. So expect to see a fairly mild day for this time of the year. Usually this time of the year, lower, lower 30s for a high. We'll see again. Middle to upper 40s across the air and a spot or two can make it to 50. Here's the breezes that blow and notice the direction. Yeah, that plays a role too. 20 mile an hour winds, but notice that. That's winds that's moving from the south. The wind moving from the south across the area. That will keep the temperatures from falling too far tonight and also give us that mild air that's going to be in place tomorrow. Temperatures actually for South Bend went up a degree since last hour. 39, currently 40 in Benton Harbor and 37 in Warsaw, 38 in Elkhart. So. Pretty mild, too, for this time of the year. Let's break it down with future cast. Overnight hours, not a problem. Just a couple of clouds overhead. Temperatures falling down, lower 30s. Temperatures can't fall too far tonight with all that warm air transport, that warm wind coming our way. Into Saturday, just enjoy that sunshine again. Sunshine aplenty, a mostly sunny day, and the temperatures will make it up there up in that uh, very mild range we discussed. Tomorrow night, you'll start to see in the sky a few extra clouds moving our way. That's the hint of things to come as our skies become partly cloudy. Then we go into Sunday. Here's the difference on Sunday. Colder air, for sure. There's a front moving through as that fast-moving front makes its fast move across the area. Temperatures will come down along with a chance of some snow. Now, during the morning hours, a couple of stray snow showers, chance of a little sleet or maybe some little rain or a little drizzle in a spot or two. That's going to happen. But snow chance, the snow chance will actually rise for the afternoon. So more likely to be dealing with some snowfall across the area during the afternoon. Systems that move rapidly don't tend to produce a lot of snow. So again, there could be some light accumulation, an inch or so in a spot or two, but a very light accumulation expected uh, for most of us from this system as it makes its march. Then into Sunday night, especially the lake effect areas, we could see some snow again for the lake effect uh, regions. Also into Monday, a chance of a little more lake effect snow. Here's WSBT Storm Tracker forecast, partly cloudy down to 31 for the overnight low and still quite breezy at times. And here's a forecast for tomorrow. There's that mild air we discussed. Temperature rising to about 47. Again, interesting range across the area when it comes to high temperatures. Into Sunday, there's that snowy day, especially for the afternoon. That's the best chance of seeing the snowfall. Lake kicks in just a little into Monday, but still very dry air behind this front. So it's going to be cold, too. I mean cold. Look at that, about 15 or so on Monday. Single digits Monday night. And don't forget, Tuesday night is something special. That is New Year's Eve. So you'll do your wrapped up reveling, as they call it. If you're going to be outside, be prepared for a bitter cold night to uh, ring in that new year. Yeah. A lot of people will be inside, I think. Many will. And hurrying to get in the door somewhere, yeah. too. <laughs> Paul, thanks. Why Phil Robertson is no longer suspended from Duck Dynasty. That story's next. Are you a true Notre Dame football fan? Then you want to know everything about the Fighting Irish. The Huddle Up app gives you a look at things through the eyes of the players. It allows you to follow their tweets and those of their opponents. It's all on Huddle Up, available for just 99 cents. Huddle Up. Welcome to Toyotathon. How can I help? I'm here to get a Camry. Oh, Camry's reliable and really fun to drive. Sounds like I hit the jackpot again. Again? Hey, honey, I got you this mochaccino, and on the way, I rescued this puppy. Mm. Right now, during Toyotathon, get an amazing 0% APR on a new 2014 Camry. Or lease Camry for just $199 a month and get $1,000 down payment assistance. Toyota, let's go places. 
have a secret. Uterine fibroids and heavy periods. It can make life unpredictable and embarrassing. If heavy periods related to fibroids affect your life, you may be eligible to receive an investigational drug. Qualified clinical research study participants get study-related care and study medication at no cost. Call 877-882-8667 or visit fibroidstrial.com. It's the Ford Dream Big Sales event. Last chance of the year to get great deals in our exciting lineup of Ford vehicles. The Bill Ford Tough F-150. With EcoBoost technology. Check out the Ford Focus. With great mileage, it will be a blast to drive. Hey, the Escape has a foot-activated liftgate. It's so easy. But you better hurry if you want to dream big. The showroom is full, and it all ends January 2nd. Now get zero financing for 60 months plus 500 cash back on a future. Or lease for just $189 a month. Only at your local Ford dealer. It's the Lazy Boy Furniture Gallery's year-end sale. An event so big it's been a year in the making. Don't miss incredible savings throughout the store on a wide selection of great-looking furniture, including sofas and sectionals, recliners and chairs, even tables, lamps, accessories, and more. Plus special financing available. Quality that lasts. Savings that won't. The year-end sale. Hurry in and save before time runs out. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. This segment of WSBT News is brought to you by your Michiana Chevy Platinum dealers. Duck Dynasty patriarch Phil Robertson is back on the show. A&E released a statement saying filming of the popular show will resume in the spring and Phil will be back on it. He was suspended from the show after he made controversial comments in a recent GQ article. Some considered his comments homophobic and racist. Others defended his right to his, his opinions and said they were taken out of context. A&E says they are disappointed by his comments, but says the family reflects on and prays for unity, tolerance, and forgiveness, something A&E says it also supports. A special birthday party today celebrated one man's milestone and the countless lives he's touched. Bigad Shaban has more from Los Angeles. Good morning, young lady. Ted D'Annunzio has made a career out of welcoming strangers. Good morning. Good morning. He spent 14 years as a greeter at this Nordstrom department store in Los Angeles. Thank you, thank you. Buddy. But for his 100th birthday, it was D'Annunzio getting the warm welcome. His co-workers rolled out the red carpet to throw him a massive party at the store. Happy birthday to me. D'Annunzio took the greeter job after his wife died of cancer. He spent much of his retirement caring for her at home. After she passed, he spent most afternoons strolling the department store. Yeah, I used to say hello to everybody. I even when I was, I used to come in here and say hello, how's everything? You know, and they say they just answer me fine, thank you. So the only thing that changes, you started getting paid for it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The store manager created the job just for him, and it wasn't long before customers took notice. They know you by name. Uh, yeah. They say hi, Ted. How are you? Shopper Holly Serrano shared hundreds of those hellos. She was pregnant with her now 14-year-old son when she first met Ted. He's just, you know, just the sweetest man. He's got a heart of gold and a, a beautiful smile that lights up your day. Which may be why crowds waited in line to share their well wishes. I want to thank everyone and everybody for being nice to me. It's nice to be nice. Ted is taking time off to celebrate, but says it won't be long before he's back at the front of the store greeting customers again. Begachaban, CBS News, Los Angeles. A possible link between concussions and Alzheimer's disease. Researchers at the Mayo Clinic found that a history of concussions involving a loss of consciousness may be related to plaque buildup associated with Alzheimer's. The study looked at nearly 500 people and found those with memory and thinking problems and a history of head injury had higher levels of plaques in the brain. Well, sports is next, the latest on the Pinstripe Bowl from New York City and the night in high school hoops as holiday tournaments continue across the area. Nobody does hearing clearance better than Campbell Ford Lincoln in Niles through January 6th only. New F-150s, year-end discounted up to $10,000 off. New Ford Fusion, hearing clearance priced just $199 a month. New Escapes, just $239 a month or choose 0% financing or no payments until March. Don't miss year-end clearance through January 6th only and only at Michiana's Ford Discounter. Campbell Ford Lincoln in Niles. The best bottom lines at the state line. For buying is fun, friendly, and affordable. Online at carsbycampbell.com. 
The Menards 11% sale is back. Find an 11% rebate on everything in the store, including our wide selection of electric heaters, fireplaces, and much more. We have everything you need to improve your home. And while you're here, stock up on all your electrical needs from decorative lighting, light bulbs, electrical boxes, and more. Find an 11% rebate on everything, even gift cards. All this week during the Menards 11% sale. Hurry in. Sale ends January 4th. This one's for you. Do, 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 do. Shop at Sofa Select after Christmas and save half off everything. Plus, free sales tax on thousands of items in stock and special order. This Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, sofas, sectionals, mattresses, and more. All at half off. Plus, Sofa Select will pay your sales tax on the best brand names and beautiful furniture. Four days only. The after Christmas half off everything free sales tax sale event. Only at Sofa Select. 13 top manufacturers battling for your business. This is the Curly Leap Battle of the Brands. Now through December 31st only, every Curly Leap location is selling their new car inventory at Invoice. Save thousands with invoice pricing on new Hondas, Fords, Hyundais, Kias, GMCs, Nissans, Subarus, VWs. Over 1,200 cars to choose from. Plus, used cars are marked down to the lowest prices of the year. The Battle of the Brands starts now, and you're the winner. Get to any of these seven Curly Leap locations by December 31st. Now, sports with Carl Deffenbaugh. A year ago at this time, Notre Dame was preparing for the national championship game undefeated on the year. New York City and an 8-4 and four record this season are a long way from those highs, but as Pete Byrne says, there is still an important goal for the Irish in tomorrow's Pinstripe Bowl. Good evening and welcome back to Yankee Stadium, site of this year's Pinstripe Bowl between Notre Dame and Rutgers. When you think about it, it's kind of fitting that Notre Dame is playing here in the home of the Yankees, two programs with such great sports history and tradition. Of course, with Notre Dame, when you think of tradition, you think of bowl wins and national championships and wins and bowl games that are of the BCS variety, not necessarily games played outdoors in December in New York City. But nevertheless, Notre Dame has a chance to achieve something very tangible here tomorrow when they take on the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. With a victory, Notre Dame could get to nine wins for the season which is something they've only done once before in the Brian Kelly era. I spoke with Coach Kelly today about reaching that nine-win plateau, and he made no mistake about it. It is something that is very important to this team. You look at your season, and you certainly want to finish with a win because it definitely um, it, it helps you in that offseason, you know, in terms of your evaluations. And then finally, uh, you know, we, we, we've seen eight wins, you know, in our program. You know, we've seen eight, we've seen 12. You know, nine is definitely one that, that looks better for us. A victory tomorrow over Rutgers here at Yankee Stadium would certainly provide a nice jumping off point for the Notre Dame football team heading into 2014. A year in which they face a daunting schedule. That also marks the beginning of the college football playoff. It will also be the year in which Notre Dame gets Everett Golson back as its starting quarterback. But tomorrow, here in the Bronx will mark Tommy Reese's final time under center in a Notre Dame football uniform. And we have more with the Irish senior quarterback right now, which you can hear on our website, WSBT.com. Reporting from Yankee Stadium with Notre Dame at the Pinstripe Bowl, I'm Pete Byrne, WSBT Channel 22 Sports. As Pete said, that story on Reese and much more on our website, WSBT.com. Tomorrow night, we'll have full highlights of the Pinstripe Bowl and reaction from the Irish after their season finale.